Let's give it one more minute. Okay, welcome everybody. Bunch of Hello. <laughs> Rosa. Hello. Garrett, Garrett, nice to see you again this week. Yeah. Judith, hello. Nice to see you. Didn't see you before. I'm, I'm letting in some more people, so. You, let me see. Admit, admit, admit. I think I have everyone in now. Okay, Michael, my brother. Mark. <laughs> nice to see you, Mark. Mark, hey. Tony, Tony. So... Welcome everybody. Nice to see all the smiling faces. Garrett, give me a smile. <laughs> so welcome to this open Zoom meeting. Yeah, this is it. Sitting in a Zoom meeting in front of a screen, watching, smiling sounds maybe excitement wondering what is going to be said or not wondering if i like it or not it's just simply utterly this already this is it and um, there's no one separated from this or behind this doing this there's no one doing the attending there's no one doing the seeing. There's no one doing the listening. That's just simply this. Sitting in a Zoom. This is it. And there may be a sense that there is a me. Listening. Seeing this. That's it too. That's just simply whatever, ever. There's just this, whatever is happening or not. Simply, plainly this. It's not hidden. It's not secret. It's everything. And at the same time, it's not a thing. But then again, saying that there's just this, it's just this. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't help you as there is no you and this. But there may be a sense that this is helpful. Well, that's it too. Thinking or feeling that this is helpful may happen innocently, effortlessly. And there's no one here helping a you over there. As there's no me here and you there. That's just simply this. So, and we can call this a belief or a conclusion or a philosophy. And giving this a name is this already. Calling this boundless energy or life or awareness or God or nothing or everything is already just simply this. There's no one giving this a name. The name giving is this. It's just simply innocently happening. And we can call this an apparent happening or an illusion or a dream. It doesn't matter. 
calling this a dream or an illusion is this. And there's no difference between thinking this is real or not. To simply whatever is happening or not is this already. So, anything coming up? Anyone wants to say something? I mean, anything can happen. Questions, comments. I don't like this, Sander, what you are saying. To me, it sounds totally like bullshit. I mean, Anything can come up. Yeah, Sander. I think that this is bullshit. Well, great. Well, great. You want an award? I mean, well, yeah. Yes. I mean, well, yeah. Sorry, Amor. Well, yes, I mean, calling this bullshit and not liking this, is this already? Um, there's no one here asking uh, someone over there to like this. There's no one here selling this. Um, this is not some type of ultimate truth which is seen here. This is just simply this already. Saying that there's just this is just this. Um, equally saying there is more, there's something behind this, is as much this as saying there's just this. And the liking of this message or not is just this. And there's nothing wrong. It's the same with liking vanilla, ice cream, or chocolate cake. It's simply what happens. And not liking this may change in liking this or having interest in this. And there's nothing which is this already. There's not a thing called this. So keep your eyes on the road, Amor. <laughs> no, but you know, anything may happen, you know, liking this, not liking this, thinking it's crazy or calling this a philosophy or a concept of a belief or a conclusion or, yeah, yeah. Anything may happen. Rosa, you raised your hand. Where are yeah. you? Yeah. Are you getting mad? I love How's raising my know? hand, <laughs> giving heart for no reason. <laughs> no, I, I'm curious, you know, he's popping up. Pancho. Pancho, sweetheart, what's going on there? I want to, I want to ask a question. Uh, <laughs> I'll give it a try. I'm from Mauritius. And uh, for Mauritius, it is so. In the Hindu tradition, they say that the nothing, the the God, the consciousness, is dreaming the universe. Yeah. And and what about that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Is, so, so... is it? Well, yeah, is you it... know, th thinking that this is a dream, that consciousness is dreaming this, or that there is so some type of dreamer doing this, or yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no argument coming now. That's just simply what seems to be happening. That this is consciousness, or this is a dream. So what you're saying is. There is no separation. Everything is one. And well, there is no free will. Yes. There is no free will. The individual, the individual self has no free will. Well, there is no individual self. Apparently there is. <laughs> so, so Apparently so, there is. Sorry, come again, Poncho. Uh, apparently it appears. There is an individual self. Pancho is an individual self. Apparently, it, it appears. Yes. 
and that individual self has no free will. This, that apparent individual self has no free will. Well, thinking or believing that there is an apparent self who has free will or not is already just this. So the believing or the seeing or the claiming that there's a separated pancho having a free will or not is already just simply this. There is no separated pancho or individual self behind the idea that there is a separated self with free will or not already. So thinking or believing that there is a separated self called Pancho or calling it an apparent separated self who has no free will or, or who has free will is just simply this. So what is, what is, uh, what is the, in what way can we apply this, your, your formula, oh. if I may say, your, your, <laughs> in no way, what way can we, apply? <laughs> in no, no way. In, in no way can you apply this, it, it, it's, it's very difficult because there's no one able to apply this, but, but, but then again, trying to apply this, you know, thinking there is a disc called something which you can use, which is something which can be helpful for me, is this already. So objectifying the suggestion that there's just this and making it to something which you can use for your benefits, is this already. There's no one to use this. There's just this sitting and asking questions is already not usable. <laughs> this is it. The wondering how can I use this or how can this be useful to me is already just simply this. For me, what I will say is that we must understand that this is it at each moment. We lost you. Then there is... Oh, sorry. Less suffering, then there is peace. May I say something? Yeah, Rosa. Pancho, Pancho. Yeah. Every thought yeah. which is popping up there, every idea, every question, is it already? It's this already in this directness. Boom. Nowhere to go. No understanding, full on understanding, same thing. Just looking, talking, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> so Pancho, wanting to use this to create a better world or more peace and thinking this is something which you can use to be a better human or to create a better world, that itself is this already. It's just what's happening. Believing that this is something which will bring peace into the world, or which can help me, is already innocently this. The belief or the idea or the thought that this is helpful or this can be helpful is this. And there's no way out as there's already no one doing the believing or the thinking. Whatever is happening or not is, is innocently falling like rain or blowing like the wind. So thinking there is something which is non-duality and when I get that, I can use it 
and everybody will be happy and I will see flowers everywhere. Is this already? And there's absolutely nothing wrong with whatever is happening or not. Trying to do something to create a better world or to create less suffering is already just simply this. And trying to do this by going to meetings or to by reading books or by doing sadhana or whatever is already just simply this. Thinking there's a you able to do something in this world, thinking there is a you and something which is called a life or a world, is this already? That's just simply this. We can call it life. And there's no one having a life able to change it. So when we understand deeply that this is it, everything is it, then there is peace. Otherwise, there is suffering. Well, I, I, I won't say that it's like that, no. But of course, there may be an idea when you get this, everything is peaceful. Is this already? There's not something which you can get. As there's not a you and something else. There's just simply this. And there's no one able to get this. Or to reach this. Thinking this is reachable or gettable is already just this. Hey, Sander. Hadar, welcome. Yeah. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, sweetheart. Happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say that uh, even understanding this less or more, or just understanding less or more, that it's not uh, it's not about understanding. It's already this understanding. Uh, it's this, and it's not about quantity. If I understand less or more, or I know more or less, everything is this. Oh so yeah, totally. You cannot count it. You cannot compare it. You cannot have it more, have it less, because it's already this. It's so already it's not about understanding. Yes. It's not about understanding or not understanding, but trying to understand it or the absence of that need is equally just this. Yeah, it can happen. So doing your best to get this is just this. And it's wonderful, you know, going, yeah. trying to get it and again and again. Beautiful. Climbing the mountain again and again <laughs> until I reach it and then I'm there. And so I'm just watching the view and the effort is nice. Everything is nice. The view, the effort. Yes. And there may be yeah. a sense, I got it. There may be even a sense, well, now I understand it. Well, that's it too. Thinking that there and then is... it disappear. Yeah, <laughs> I got it, and then that's it. Boom. Yes. <laughs> Even that thought to disappear. Exactly. Thinking th this is understandable or not is already this. Thinking there is a you who is able to see this or to get this or to understand this or not. So or the opposite that there's no one to understand this and no one to get this is equally just this. Yeah, I call it magic. Well, beautiful. I mean, magic, boundless energy, timeless wonder, life. Or bubble gum. I mean, giving it a name is this already. There's not something behind this which is given a name. The name giving is mm -hmm. this already. Yeah. Yeah, and magic, wonderful. 
being able to do all these things, you know, to look for, to find, to, to move, everything is like, woo, one big party. <laughs> or or Amor or, would say what a shit show which is a shit show <laughs> oh when it's a shit show it's a full on shit show you know this is a party shit party it's not a shit show it's a shit party <laughs> Pancho how would you say call this magic shit show bubble gum or smoking the cigarette <laughs> I will call it the Lila. Uh -huh. Play. Lila is a play. It means the play yeah. in India. And here yeah. it means the, the dog of my friend is called Lila. So, <laughs> so yeah, Pancho, there's just basically Lila. And there's no one in the Lila or doing the Lila. There's just the play. There's no players. This is just playing on itself. There's just Leela. And this Leela is blindly itself, so to say. It's playing on its own. And even the Shiny. idea that there's a you doing this is, is just Leela, so to say. It's a shining pancho. Shining is pancho. <laughs> We can call it Lila or Maya or a dream. It doesn't change anything. I mean, you can call it real or life or Lila or Shiva or Brahman or Atman or awareness or consciousness. Hey, stop. I cannot follow anymore with these confusing words there. <laughs> I mean, it's just languaging, just words. So many words for the same thing, and it's so hard to be to be expressed. This is crazy. Yeah, you can find a lot of words, but uh, cannot express it really because it. Well, it's the, all this. It's all this. So, I mean, the not able to express this is this already. There is just the expression, so to say. Yeah. And there's no one able to express this or to not express this. Pancho? I have a question, Pancho. Uh, do, do you think, believe, or feel that there is no separation? Not to. Intellectually, I understand it using the dream analogy. Very clear. And uh, intellectually, it is very clear. But only intellectually, I use a dream analogy, it becomes clear. But, but only intellectually, I do not see it. But there, but there is the idea that this must be felt, right? That there is... No, this... no, 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 no. I have, I have, I have uh, uh, rejected seeking. I no longer seek now. I no longer seek. I just, just <laughs> enjoy. Lila. This enjoy is, the game. Yeah, beautiful. Enjoy the game. And, yeah. and we should not take life seriously. We should not take life seriously. <laughs> well, well, why not? This may happen. Yeah, but this is a suffering. You should take life seriously. <laughs> this is a suffering. Uh, no, 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 I, I don't, I, I don't agree. It's not suffering to take life serious. 
It's just what it is, taking life serious. Well, it's not about doing something or doing nothing. It's not about not taking life serious or not. So taking it seriously or not is just innocently happening or not. There's just simply no one doing this already. Whatever is happening or not is already innocently this. There's no one able to take this serious or not. But at the same time, finding this very serious or not is equally just this. And there's nothing wrong with finding life serious or not. Just what's happening. Taking a non-duality meeting or a meeting or a gathering on Zoom very serious and thinking that there is something to get here is just this. Or the absence of those ideas, beliefs or needs. And there's no one to escape what already is just simply this. Taking it serious or not. This may change. Finding this very serious may suddenly change in finding this a load of bullshit. It may happen. Waking up tomorrow and thinking, wow, what a crap. I never go to such a meeting anymore. It may just simply happen. <laughs> so this is not about doing or not doing. I mean, find the left the building, say... I guess. Huh? Oh no, he's here. No, there was a. I had a problem. Amor is hopping. <laughs> so yeah, anything and anything may happen. Suffering, liking, not liking, crying, frustration, anger, wanting to get something, not wanting to get something trying to get something, thinking this is gettable or not. Anything may just simply happen. Innocently. And effortlessly. And there's no one behind this, doing this or not doing this already. This is it already. Tony, you're waiting or you want to say something? Yes, I want to say thank you. Thank you, all of you, and especially to Sander for inviting us uh, weekly and for your words. Uh, it's incredible how listening the same is never boring and never tiring. Instead, it's <laughs> it's uh, a, a, a joy uh, uh, for laughing and the same time is moving to tears. They're really, there are no words now. Yes, that's and it's not understandable. But this melody, this resonance is the best. It's the best. Not understand at the same time. Wow, participating, breathing, resonating. What else? What else? What? Nothing else is needed. This not knowing, sharing, this not knowing with everybody and nobody. What else? Any else is, is needed. No, no. Only this, always only this. But during the day, sometimes there's tiredness or maybe boredness. But no. now, with all of you, I listen to you. What else? No, nothing is needed. It's really this, only <laughs> this. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing, Tony. Oh, Tony, sweetheart, so beautiful. Yeah, the same here. I just love Zander too. And all of you, of course. <laughs> yeah.
yeah what a beauty you know saying we love each other or we hate each other <laughs> so just, i mean <laughs> anything may happen right right <laughs> you know love can turn into hate for no one by no one i mean anything may happen yeah. from loving your wife to trying to kill her or whatever <laughs> or the other way around This just plays freely. And of course, it may sound strange, but anything may just simply happen. Love may turn into hate. Hate may turn into love. Anger may turn into silence. It's just simply this. So here it doesn't feel it turns to? No, I mean, turns to is maybe, but you know, words are always. Yeah, it's difficult. Difficult. I mean, nothing, in a way, nothing is changing. Nothing is happening. Mm. There is so much love. In it. And um, I, I'm just, I was surprised this week. Um, to see that when it's not heard. It's not heard. The same, you know, what we are like somehow what we are sharing here. Um, this love, you know, so it's it's always it's everywhere, but when it's uh, you can communicate with the different characters, and when it's not heard, the same it's not heard the same way. And um, so there is appreciation actually for that that we can even. Uh, share that you know there is something we're sharing that uh, we express in words but uh, there is this uh, this this love everywhere and we uh, we can talk about it so this is uh, you know it's really it's a big appreciation for that yes beautiful mm. thanks Hadar <laughs> Michael. Yeah, Hadar, beautiful. So there is a, a lot of appreciation here, but if you're speaking with somebody that they're not resonating with this, the, the appreciation can also be there. Oh yeah, totally. So we're pre we're appreciating here and saying, and I do appreciate here, and somehow make a distinction that there's something here that is causing the appreciation when it's not. Because it, it it's just what's happening here. Yes. And outside where it's just happening there, where nobody's likes this stuff <laughs> or whatever, they're really negative, whatever. That's what's happening there. And none of that has anything to do with appreciation. There may be appreciation here, there may be appreciation there, but there's no separate between here or there. Well, and th there's no one actually appreciating or resonating already. So it's hard to, to make someone appreciate this or not. Right. And, and it's not about appreciation or not. Okay. I mean, resonating with this or not resonating with this, so to say, with this message or suggestion or whatever you want to call it, is just innocently happening or not. And there's just no way to do something about it. 
but then again, trying to to spread this message, so to say, is just what seems to be happening. There seems to be a love for this message. And the law for this message is as innocently as the message itself. And it doesn't bring anything, actually. Michael, I didn't hear you. What's up? Hi here. Hi here. Already. Whatever. Liking, not liking, hating thinking they're stupid, thinking they're brilliant, resonating, not resonating, words or no words. Yeah, this doesn't depend on words, but words are free to arise. This doesn't depend on feelings, but feelings are free to arise. Yeah, th this doesn't need a you already. The idea that this needs you is already you-less. Whatever is happening is already me and you less already. Yeah, and without me and without you, there's just this. Yes. The trying to get rid of the self is already selfless. I like Sandra this new term "youless" and "eyeless." <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know what popped up here, Michael, while listening to you, um, talking about is just this. Also, to listening to Zander, uh, it makes the impression that there is something to get with it, which is just this. Yes. So it's simply not needed to say just this. Oh no! I mean, it's just like putting yeah. it into words. Yeah, I, I know. This, it... Yeah, like like Zander is saying, just this uh, has no meaning at all. Yes. yes. And just this is n not a thing, uh, no. which which you can put in your pocket. And no. uh, me less, you less. It's just simply not two already. There is no separation. Yes. There is just full on aliveness playing out as it plays out. Everything is it already. There is no escape. Yeah. And yeah. Um, every word is simply too much. And it's already. Every word is nailing this. Boom, 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 boom. No way to get it wrong. No way to get it right. <laughs> Just this. Just yeah. a big smile. <laughs> yeah, Rosa, I, I know what you mean. Here it was coming up today. Everything is it already. And there's no it. Yeah, this is really like when you and you everything's like just this, just this, and there's ah, okay, okay, you know. <laughs> no, <this laughs> well, is just, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> there isn't a thing called just this. There, there isn't a thing called just this or no thing called just this. Well, 
But then again, thinking that there is a thing called this, is this already? So objectifying just this into something which I can get and I can feel that it's just this or I can know that it's just this, is this already? So making this into an object or something which you can find is already this. But this is already not hiding. This is already this. This is already it. The wanting to get this is already simply everything. Completely. Oh, yeah, of course. How can it not be this? No way to miss it because it's everything already. May I say something? Just of this course. is not a thing, but every happening is a. Every happening is a. Well, saying every happening is it, it is this. So saying every happening is it, it is this already. I mean, saying it's all this or it's something else is this too. I mean... There's no difference. Garrett, how are you doing this week? Oh, I've had better days. <laughs> I've been I've been arguing with my wife quite a bit. You said you have been arguing arguing with your wife? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> no, it's not that beautiful though. No, but I mean, yeah. What's happening arguing with your wife is this too. I was writing down what I listen to you say sometimes, I thought it might be useful. If I was arguing with my wife, I could maybe say... Um, it's just this. Oh. No. Do you want an award? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know... I don't I'll think that would help, it? No. Maybe next time you can ask me, I can tell you that it will not work. I'm not going to risk it. No. No. No, but sometimes when... sometimes I I've, I've got to make a lot of decisions and apparently there's nobody there to make the decisions. And often I am leaving the decision to the very last minute and then it just happens. Yes. It's yes, or it's no, or it's left, or it's right. Yes. It just seems to happen. Not necessarily the right uh, decision in the end, but... Uh... Yes. Mm. So that's all I've got to say, really, at the moment. Yeah, you know, having doubts about if it's the right decision or not, or claiming it to be the wrong decision or not, all that is just innocently. What happens? What happens as is this as is the expressing, as is the decision itself, as is the talking about it. It's already just this already, and and trying to to use this in um, in an argument mm -hmm. is equally just this.
But I, I'd like to say regarding arguing with one's wife um, and benefit from whatever this is, whatever's going on here. When I go to these meetings, when I, well, I'm going to call practices, practice this stuff. That's the way I look at it. I'm engaged in it. Um, when I am with my wife and we are arguing at times, it's not that I try to tell her any of this stuff, but there's a knowing over here that this is just what's happening. Out of that, without saying that to her at all, just knowing that here in the way that I'm experiencing it now, there's, if this is just what's happening, then as I look at her and myself arguing and whatever, this is just happening, which then, I, there, there's no need to defend anything anymore. And I can drop that. And so there's great benefit in when I'm arguing with my wife or my son or anything, the, for me, the understanding of this, well, whatever it is we're talking about, whatever is talking does to me have great benefit in this so-called illusion, <laughs> which seems really real, uh, that, that it has great benefit. And so there, there is, I'm saying, this can be used, all this, or all that is this is usable in that way, is usable in the, the contraction, that you use that word, it's, it's usable in the contraction. So it does have great benefit if that's, you know, that's what you're looking for. Well, yes, yeah, I agree with you there, uh, Don, yeah. yeah. Well, for, you know, finding this useful or claiming this to be useful or seeing this as something which can be used and which can be beneficial and finding it beneficial, all that is just this already. Just what's happening. Finding this beneficial in relationship and, and claiming this to be helpful is already innocently this. So even if there is a using of this, there's no one able to use this. But at the same time, using this is this already. Yeah. And there's nothing we, wrong. It's just simply just simply what's happening, so to say. So seeing that there is no one so-called doing this or seeing or claiming it's all innocently happening may be found helpful. That's it. Yeah, yeah it does um, be a little better then, yeah. I tried that, uh, so it does help 10%. Yeah, it's it just simply, there's nothing wrong. We're trying to use this, like I said in the beginning, trying to use this, is this already? There's no one able to use this as there is no separated you and this. But finding this useful is innocently this too. Yes. When we when you said the word earlier about uh, resonate. Can you identify a person if they are have a resonance, if there's resonation or not? I had that stroke, so I can't say the words very clearly now, but can you um, 
tell by looking people that they're they have experienced the resin the resonation the resin no no because there's already no one resonating there's no one to recognize anybody else no here there's no seeing of someone who is who has gained this or has recognized this that's just simply whatever is happening it's already empty so to say there's already no one behind this so trying to see you know trying to find how you call it um signs that someone has get gotten this is this already i mean it, well no signs but when you and your colleagues are um smiling and laughing do you think that's well not a sign but you can tell what i'm getting to um i can't imagine rosa and yourself and tony and michael so on on the phone to each other arguing and shouting and Yeah, yeah, Gareth, I, I get it. Yeah, Sander and I talk almost every day and it never gets old. It's always fresh. It's always fresh and alive. Nothing is off limits. We cover a huge range of topics and none of it matters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tony. I, I, I would like to say about the sharing and the resonance. Uh, we like to speak or to share with uh, people that in some extent are in this, you know, sharing this language, so to speak. But the, the, the opposite of the, of the resonance, or the, the resonance may be the, the, the opposition, the tension, the tension is, is lovely. Tension, music is tension. Architecture, geometry is tension. Tension is a kind of resonance. Arguing is also this. It's the same sharing. Maybe not so uh, comfortable, but doesn't matter. It's the same. The same arguing is resonating. Sometimes I'd rather not resonate. Resonate. <laughs> <laughs> we prefer. We prefer uh, resonate with uh, good mood. But uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Really, everything. Everything resonates, tensions, numbers, colors. It's an expression of this, that it's not a thing, but is this. It's not a thing, it's nothing. What else? Nothing else. Everything is included. Arguing is beautiful. Even hating, to hate. To hate, that's awful, but it isn't. It isn't because that happens. Everything that happens, apparently, is sharing, is breathing, is being, and not being at the same time, then. Wow. Yeah, I understand. I think my my internet is um, coming and going. That's okay. I yeah. remember one. I remember one time, um, Kenneth was talking back and forth to one of the uh, the uh, students of, and. 
Frank told him to F off. <laughs> so I agree what you were just saying then, Tony, about uh, everything is, uh, I can't say the words of it, everything is uh, natural. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, yeah. Sorry, come again, Garrett. You said F off to who? Um, I remember the speaker was um, Kenneth from Ireland, and uh, he said to the guy, How many times do I have to ex explain it? And he told him to F off because he kept asking the question back to him. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, anything may happen, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no difference like Tony is saying. Hating, loving, liking, arguing, discussing, defending. It's all just simply this already. Yeah. And there may be, a, you know, there may be a preference for loving instead of hating. Well, that's it too. I mean, preferences are equally innocently this already. And the sharing can be, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you carry no, I'm on. Just say, the sharing can be in uh, so many ways. It doesn't need to be in this, only in this language. No. So uh, if uh, so if uh, someone doesn't understand this language, there is so many other languages to 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 speak with and to share, and we don't need words even. And Venting. Just, uh, yeah, play being together, watching the sun, or just going shopping and everything. So this is sharing. This is uh, this is love. We don't need to explain anything. No. Yeah. We can talk about uh, the weather. It's the same. Exactly. Whatever is happening or not is already not too. For example, yeah, of... here, yeah. here is a curiosity popping up, Adar, sweetheart, sorry, about Judith. Judith, Judith are you German? Yes. <laughs> no. You're muted, Judith. <laughs> Maybe you can. Yeah, I'm just curious. Can you hear me now? Can yeah, you hear yeah. me? Yeah. yeah, I'm Hungarian. Hungarian. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh. I wonder it. <laughs> well that's yes. nice so what about resonance uh, Judith yeah no, um, what I can say uh, well my husband asked me in the morning uh, I have my headphones on listening to Tony or you guys or whatever <laughs> and uh, he says what are you listening to uh, the most beautiful music in the world <laughs> wow. beautiful. great I guess, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just in love with this. Rolling love with this. Beautiful. Yeah, totally. It's like so innocent, easy going, like music. Yeah. Loving this music channel or not. No choice. It's, no choice. It's really just about the dance or yeah. not the dance or the chill out or whatsoever. Yeah. You know, what is popping up here, Judith? Yeah. I met my wife 30 years ago in Hungary. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> at the, at the, the Balaton Lake. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be 30 years ago. It used to be better. Than now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Michael, sweetheart, are you there finally? Did you make it? I can't believe it. <laughs> Boom. I did. <laughs> I was really confused. I, I was thinking, God, I'm really am getting old. <laughs> oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I am you so, are getting old. <laughs> I am getting old. Oh my God. I thought, I wonder if I, it was like I was in twilight zone. I said, I, my wife usually helps me with these things, and I didn't inform her of, of what was happening, I guess. 
but it was really confusing to me. I'm easily confused. <laughs> I am so sorry for that. Um, oh no, pro. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> you are you are both so sweet. You too, sweetheart. No. <laughs> oh. Is is there a topic today? Well, not really. So there's just simply what's coming up, Michael. So whatever is coming up there, you if there is a need to share. Um so there's just simply this talking on Zoom, sitting, watching, words, sounds, bodies moving, questions, answers, laughing, just simply whatever is happening, what's coming up. Uh, Anything coming up, Michael? There's spaces. I'm sorry. Anything coming up? Anything you want to share? Oh, I'm, I'm delighted to see faces that I haven't seen before. It's like uh, it's like galaxies um, swinging into view. Um, I find myself wondering about who they are and what their travails have been, and travels. Um, of course, there's the assumption that they're all either seekers or finders. <laughs> um, well, I've been are, thinking. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, there are no see. There are no seekers or finders already. So that's a li there. There's maybe <laughs> seeking okay. and finding, but there is no one seeking or finding already. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been thinking a lot lately about the assumption that we can know anything, that uh, that any definitive statement about our condition is illusory, that uh, it comes from within our condition. And I listen to people, especially young people, who, who have websites and talk about this uh, with such authority, mm -hmm. and they answer questions and... Uh, quite uh, quite often with it seems almost the assumption that they know the answers and I and I'm thinking all the time that what can be known about a condition that doesn't exist how can we form any conclusion about this mysterious condition from within the condition itself to me, it's akin to being in a nighttime dream, wondering what's going on. Um, and that's as close to an analogy that I can think of. I know in my nighttime dreams, not so much lately, but I would get lost. I just was trying to get home. And I, if I found my car, I couldn't find my car keys. If I got on the freeway, I didn't know where to turn off. Um, the town that I was in was unfamiliar, and I would look for something familiar to find my way home. And I think that's the human condition. You just want to go home. Um, I wrote something on my web page, a web page today about the prodigal son that that wanders like the wandering Jew, trying to find their home. And of course, we have no home here. Um, or there's just I, that's where I'm, I'm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Or the, or this is or there's just a home. There's no one having a home. I mean, we can we can say this is just home already. It's no one home. But I want to come back a little bit, Michael. Uh, uh, what you were saying, young speakers, because. I saw a bit of the the talk you did yesterday, or you were in with Izzy Cloak, and uh, yes, and you 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 were saying, well, that's just another landing. That's just a conclusion to me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and and you know, saying it's all boundless energy, and and finding that a conclusion or calling it a landing, it's just simply this already. 
So, Even that I, seems to be a conclusion to me. Oh yeah, the, totally. The yes, totally. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not. Uh, th this is not a uh, this is not a disagreement. So it's just simply what seems to be happening. Even even calling that a conclusion is a conclusion. Of course. Um, so what's what's, and what's even the that, problem? Well, the problem in quotations <laughs> <laughs> um, appears to me that that any conclusion could not be true. Well, we don't know what truth is. Well, that's another uh, that conclusion. Anything, of course, of course. Yeah, that I, I always qualify that with what I'm saying as being just another conclusion. Uh, it seems to be imaginary conclusions all the way down. Yeah. There's nothing to hold on to, nothing. When people say, this is it, or, uh, and of course, this by definition is this, and it is by definition it. This is it really says nothing. No, it says no exactly. That it's a... It doesn't say anything. So this was also mentioned in the beginning of this talk, saying there's just this doesn't mean anything. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't bring anything. Saying there's just this or saying it's boundless energy or it's timeless wonder or it's the brain is just simply this already. And thinking it's a conclusion or a concept or a belief is equally just this already. Mm. This is it. I think that's, yeah, I think that's where we differ, um, Sander, is, is that by saying this is it, assuming that there is a this to be it, when those are just names, just labels applied to a, a generalized, objectified perspective that's trying to see itself. Um, I don't think we can, I think nothing can be said about a condition that has no actual reality at all. Uh, we are mental fabrications, and we live in a mentally fabricated. Fab, uh, what? I just went slurry on that. <laughs> fabricated, a mentally fabricated pseudo reality, composed of nothing but words and names. Well, that's another assumption or conclusion or statement. Oh, of course, no ground. Of course, so, I mean, there's of only course. whatever is happening. You can call it words or beliefs or thoughts or ideas or concept or constructs i mean it it doesn't you can call it a dream an illusion a, a, you know a, a projection it, it does it it's it doesn't change whatever is happening or not or is believed to be happening or is seen to be happening or or is imagined to be happening or is projected to be happening well yeah again that's that's a conclusion about something that doesn't exist i i don't think we have a way to to um grapple with this our language is our limitation we are limited to words um that's what confines and defines us there's no way out of this of out of the language perspective we are the language perspective and which consists only of names that are mistaken for actual things. Um, I think we can flirt that or even skirt around this a little bit, but then it becomes lost. Yeah. All meaning becomes meaningless. All attempts to describe or uh, confine to words are conditioned will forever remain beyond our grasp. And anything said about it only makes it appear real. Uh, really? Mm. Really? I mean, that's just simply it, what seems to be happening there. A whole story about what it seems to of do. Course. Not. Of course. So of we, course. We can talk 12 hours and still we... we I mean, you, <laughs> you, you never come somewhere than here. I don't know where here is. Uh, here is the imaginary place of an imaginary persona. Um, 
I think this is the reason that some non-dual teachers commit suicide. Well, is the futility that's a pretty pretty hard conclusion? <laughs> make a statement that people make a suicide because of something. I mean, who knows this, Michael? Please tell oh, me. Oh, that's who true. Knows that that's it's true. Because of a certain reason. No, you're, that's true. Uh, it's a speculation, of course. But there is a crushing, uh, a crushing, a, uh, a barren emptiness beyond words when it starts to dawn that no one has ever known or ever will know anything about who or what we are in this who vast unknown. Who knows that no one will know? Well, there's no one, nothing to know. Has anybody come close yet? No, but I mean, so there's a statement, no one knows. Who knows that no one knows this? Well, who can know anything about something that's imaginary? Well, that, that's another knowing, right? Well, it's, it's a speculation. Uh, I'm suggesting that nothing can be known, that we mistake uh, description. All we have is description. We don't know what electricity is, and we never will, because... It doesn't exist as anything other than a name of an obser of, of an observation. There's no such thing as electricity. It's an observation. It doesn't exist as a separate thing. And we live, we emerge only in a world of imaginary separated objects. There's no such thing as a mountain. There's no line around a mountain. There's no line separating mountains. A line between a valley and a mountain doesn't exist. An ocean, there's no such thing as an ocean. There's no line that separates the Pacific from the Atlantic. No, but claiming there is or there isn't is just simply what seems to be happening, right? Claiming there is, I mean, whatever has been said or not, it's just basically words, ideas, sounds whatever you want to call it, beliefs, concepts, mm. conclusions. Mm -hmm. Just that. That's all we've got. And this is already everything, so to say. So saying everything there are lines around mountains or there are lines around mountains and there are there is separation. So basically saying there's separation or there's no separation is already not separate, right? It's just simply this. Mm. Apparently, uh, we live in a world of appearances. We are the world of appearances. I believe our only connection is the Michael, shared Michael, language. Michael, Michael, hold on a sec, please, sweetheart. What does uh, this mean? We live in a world of appear. Who who knows this? This is just this is just a word said, you know. Exactly. And a one exactly. thought after the other, imagination trying to figure out what is an appearance, what is not. Just this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Whoa. Well, just this. Yeah, that's an occlusion. Even uh, that's not this. Occlusion. Even not this. Even not this. Even not this. I mean, saying it's <laughs> apparently <laughs> happening, or it's an illusion, or it's a dream, uh -huh. or it's an imagination, or it's just this. I mean, okay. just how the cookie crumbles. It's, it's not a conclusion, but it may sound like a conclusion as a landing. Well, this is that's it too. Claiming it is a conclusion, or it's a concept, or it's a landing or it's a, a belief, or mm. it's an appearance, all that, so to say, is already just this, and there of is course. not even no. a this. Oh, even this, yeah, there's not even a this. So that leaves us with nothing. Well, that there is, no what is, what is nothing. What is nothing? What is nothing? <laughs> what is nothing? What do you mean with nothing? Okay. okay. Okay, you can both go to your room now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, honey. But, but look, look, in this beautiful directness, sweetheart, in yeah, this beautiful well, directness, <laughs> in this beautiful directness, without any thought, any idea. I mean, well, tell me, what is nothing, anything? Michael? What is nothing? Is there a thing called nothing or a no thing called nothing? Please explain. What it's just nothing? an idea. Yeah. So, oh, it's just an idea of the absence of things. And it's another thing itself. I'm, I'm suggesting all we have is ideas about things to deal with what, how we deal with things. Uh, well, that's already language, not a thing, right? 
Of course. No, there's no things. There's no things except in the naming of them. So who is that? I'd love to hear. Is... Oh, who knows? You know, any who's and why's seem to disappear. Yeah. Um, I'd love to hear someone else's opinion here <laughs> other than other than mine. <laughs> we, we heard a lot, sweetheart, but you're simply too late. <laughs> you sweetheart. No, no, I'm just playing. I think we're all playing here. Uh, we all have different, we all live in a different world of, yeah. of unique names. Uh, so how we communicate at all amazes me. Uh, my my mountain is totally different than your mountain. I grew up in the Tetons of Wyoming, so that's what I see. Uh, I used to know the name of every one of the Tetons, and I thought that they were things, but they aren't. They aren't things. There's no such thing as a mountain. I used to go to, I think I've mentioned this several, in several meetings, to a philosophy class where I would offer the students $1,000 if they could think of anything that didn't have a name. And they get really excited about the $1,000, but not one of them ever could. Everything has a name. You look out into your world, you cannot find an unnamed object. What does it matter? I thought I found one of us. Sweetheart Michael, well, Michael, well, Michael, 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 sorry. Sorry, Michael, while listening to you, here is mm. here is like really being a student in a philosophy class. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I'm we're very all direct, that. sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah, because I don't think here, I don't think it there's... plays it plays more kind of more direct. It's just um it's just all those ideas, thoughts. There is no mountain. There is a mountain. This is appearing. It's not appearing. This is just like so. Um, 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 um. What to say? Uh, kind of dead. Mm. <laughs> and here it's simply yeah. one with it. You um, know. <laughs> what you're what you're doing, Rosa, is looking at what you hear from me, and suggesting you have a knowing. Of what's mm -hmm. going on here? No, no, no. Um, it's just what's coming out. Gone... Oh, I know. It's just coming out. But all we have with each other are the words that we hear from each other's world, and we have a an image of that person in our mind from what they have been willing to tell us. That's the, the only thing we have of them. That's the only thing we have of our loved ones. Uh, 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 he, he, no, Michael, Michael, he, he, I, I don't agree. It's not, I'm I not know. having anything with another person. It's not, oh, it's, simply, yeah. it's not playing out here like this. It's just, there okay. is really just this not too already. I cannot explain it better. There is no separation and there is a talking and listening, but the, this is simply this directness in it. Hmm. Well, I would suggest we exist only in imaginary separation. Well, there is separation. Only in imagination. Well, say, saying there's separation or no separation, or believing there's separation, or thinking there's separation, or feeling there's separation, is already not separate. It's already just. It's not separate okay. from something. You're saying, else. That's you're saying. There's such a thing as oneness or allness. Then, which All, is the same. No, 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 no. Not oneness or allness. I mean. You can you can <laughs> you can call it oneness or allness or 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 or, or not or no separation. That. I mean, it doesn't. You know, thinking or feeling or believing that separation or not, it doesn't really change what is already just simply sitting and talking in a zoo. I'm suggesting there's not even what what you call what is that. That's just a formulation of concepts. It's meaningless. It has oh, no meaning okay, whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally There's no place. Meaningless. I think the mind can find a place to rest there and think that it has a picture of what's going on. I think it can fool itself into thinking, ah, oh, it's just this. Yeah. Well, what right. a beauty. And that, and what that, a beauty. It's yes. what's happening. So? What? so? Yeah. That's it's it. Not, it means nothing. This just this means nothing. 
No, but I it mean, so there's an idea that, so yeah. there's a claiming, I think that it's just a resting place which you have found and you can rest there. Well, that's it. Beautiful. I think that's what you have found. Yeah, but you I'm have found uh, justice. Uh, yes, but I'm saying, well, that's just simply what seems to be happening there then, that yeah. there is someone who found a resting place. Well, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing we have. Is temporary yeah. resting places. Without that, there's absolutely nothing. That's the crush that I talked about. The black wall that Mr. Ganada speaks about. That's the end of objectification. That's the cliff beyond which we don't exist. Um, who, who said that? That's the end of the world. That's the end of the known world. Mr. Ganada, the black wall. Um, there is a point beyond which objectification cannot go and that's the end of our world we are confined to a world of name things that's all we are that's all the people we love are uh, our memories they're just memories and um, that create a persona my grandchildren I know that they don't exist as personas they have beautiful bodies they were all beautiful bodies but the persona is an imaginary mnemonic phantom it doesn't exist now that may appear like a resting place to you but i am saying that that is just another objectification also that we can never know anything about our condition because we don't have one exactly there's no one having a condition already no, it's true. How could there be? Okay. Michael, can I have a question? It has his thinking. Of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Adar. Yeah, I, I just want to ask, uh, what does it mean uh, for you, Michael, uh, just this? I, I'm sorry, I believe. What does it mean for you? Uh, the word just this. What does it mean for you? Oh, when, when just you... this. Yeah, just this to me is is an objectification that tries to um, make sense out of its out of this imaginary condition that we find ourselves in. Uh, all there is is just this. It's just this. I hear that so often, especially among uh, it appears to me a young younger speaker. They think they found something in just this. That's all it is. But just this doesn't exist. But I hear just, a lot. I hear a lot. It's so, the uh, brain. Is it a, it's the brain. Is it uh, an object for you? Just it's it does it means an object? Just this? What, no. what does it mean? No, there are no objects uh, except in the naming of them. Objectification is the naming and labeling of perceptions, and our language is a consensus okay. conceptual pseudo time. reality. Yeah. Bye, Garrett. Bye-bye. Oh, you're leaving. <laughs> He's leaving. <laughs> oh, darn it. Um, so, so Michael, where's the leaving. difference okay. between where's the difference between saying it's just this or it's the brain? No difference. No difference. I'm suggesting that all everything said or shared is part of a pseudo reality um a shared dream of separation whatever you want to call it and all of those are just pointers just suggestions to play on the edge of nothingness um ah how can we talk about nothing when nothing doesn't even exist um we are a paint by numbers painting that uh, everyone paints. All of the people I've ever met, the new faces here, have have started to paint themselves into my memory. Um, <laughs> everything said, truly, everything that Sander has ever said to me is part of his the persona that I have for him. And Rosa too, this bubbling laughter and the light. Um, that's all I'll ever know about her is her beauty, her smile, her boom. Um, 
that's what Rosa is to me. And that's all Rosa could ever be. That's all we can ever be to each other is a group of memories. Um, that can be very depressing, I think. Very, uh, it can add to our loneliness and our longing. But there's something that happens that's totally unreachable, where there is this peace that passes understanding, knowing that nothing can be known. And even that is a knowing, is a belief, of course, yeah. an attempt to know. So, sweetheart yes. Michael, what are we talking about? We are playing um, with language, and we are, we are, <laughs> uh, we're 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 children playing with language, and people get so serious about their beliefs, and they get so defensive, uh, and all the time, life is streaming by and it's fast beautiful unknowingness um though i'm 81 i treasure every moment i'm alive my curtains are closing i have so many i have 10 doctors <laughs> um my curtains are closing every morning i wake up and i think oh my and i look at my wife and she's 80 and she's so beautiful and every moment we play together we she enjoys playing games on her iPad and I play with her because I like to be with her. Every moment is precious and I don't try to think about things. The stuff just happens. It's beautiful, delightful. Beautiful, Michael. Exactly. It just happens. It just whatever happens. it is. So yeah. 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 What so beauty. what I'm doing, I'm, I'm worried about my hair because it's sticking up, which oh, is part of my great, persona. Sweetheart. You look <laughs> great. Well, My yeah, that was, was a little bit of a suggestion, Michael, <laughs> so to say. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Liebfrau Milch, and I was going to make a um, a Liebfrau spit that, that you could uh, put your hair down with. <laughs> Didn't everybody's mother do that when they were little? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Oh my God! But when I when a... I saw it, when I saw it uh, the first time, I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> <laughs> my and I remember even a child going like this. <laughs> Michael, did your mother do that to your hair when you were little? He's thinking. <laughs> Maybe. I'm I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a Wyoming thing. <laughs> well, I'll take that back. I never said that. <laughs> no, you, oh, you, you never did. But you're all so beautiful. I, when I look at the... I never did. I never did what? You never said it. No, you're correct. You never said it. I'm you sorry. Never, you sorry, never said anything. Well, you said I will take it. No, back. I never, never said, said it. it. Well, correct. Yeah. You never said it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it happened. Um, and I thought it happened to everybody. But then again, that's one of my assumptions that was untrue. Yeah. Um, my goodness. Yeah, it's a good um, example. Uh, so here, here there is something like assumptions and conclusions. They fall like rain and blow like the wind. It's just innocently happening, making conclusions and assumptions that this yeah. is because of that. All that is already just simply, innocently, effortlessly arising, so to say. Yeah, truly. I don't think we can live without them. I think that's oh, no. who we are, is, is assumptions and conclusions. Well, there is just uh, Michael, Michael, we have those this, about this is interesting. It's uh, here. It's sorry, Xander, for interrupting. This is you. You always say this is what we are. This is who we are. And this year, mm, totally. It, it's very interesting because I, I simply yeah. noticed this, and um, yeah. and I wonder. I wonder. I really wonder. For no reason. 
it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny, really. Um, we're playing with language, which has definite limitation, unique to each of us. Uh, you, you people who are multilingual, you live in in two or three worlds. A language is a world into itself. You have German words that don't translate. And uh, I don't know if English has any words that don't translate. I'm sure it does. <laughs> but uh, I don't know any. But you, you can communicate in two worlds. And I think they are different worlds. Um, there's a commonality there. Um, but language is itself a world. And we are worlds unto ourselves. We are universes unto ourselves. There's no escaping this loop, this mind loop that creates the persona. We are confined and defined by that. And all of those are conclusions granted. Yes. But again, it's, uh, again, they're pointing to this incredible freedom of fearlessness. I, I, I talk to people that most people would avoid. I was, there was a young man screaming in the sandwich shop the other day. And um, other people were shying away from me, a big guy with the beard, screaming. And he got closer and closer to me. And I thought, well, I'm just going to talk to him. I said, hello. He said, hi. I said, do you have Tourette's syndrome? He said, no. I just, my life is hard. I said, I can see that. I can see that. Um, and we talked and he, his tone came down and we had a wonderful conversation and I don't remember what it was about. It wasn't, it wasn't cohesive, but he gentled down so much and I fell in love with him. His father who had been watching said, leave him alone. And I thought he was talking to me, but he was talking to his son. And I said, as he approached, I realized he was talking to his son. I said, oh, no, we're having a conversation. We're, we're enjoying each other. And the father said, well, you watch him for a while. <laughs> and then he went out the door. And so I thought, oh, God, this poor father were, had to raise his son, which looked like he was 25 or 30. But his whole life, and he was old now. He was an old man and worried, I'm sure, what was going to happen to this boy when he died. And my heart went out to the father and went out to the son. They become part of who I am. Um, beautiful, that's all I Michael. am. Michael. Michael, beautiful, sweetheart. Thank you for sharing. And uh, cool that you managed to join here <laughs> to share oh. some beautiful thoughts. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Rosa, thank you for this. Um, I want to stop the meeting so to say we went okay. uh, a half an hour over time it doesn't matter you know it just plays out that way uh michael <laughs> thank you for sharing the story. oh i so wanted to hear everyone else i nice i do something you, here. well oh. it, are we going to have a meeting on friday or is that is was that are we sated with that with no, let's meet on Friday. 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 Let's meet on Friday. I will, I will message you again. Uh, Xander, would you would you maybe close up this thing with uh, a few sentences? <laughs> well, th then I can do this. No well, prop, or maybe Hadar or Michael, well, Jeffrey. I, I just want to. I was just thinking you know to close something i mean whatever the hell that means but uh, exactly. i mean there's exactly. nothing to close you know but uh okay, you for, say, the okay of, uh, for the sake of the idea or belief that there is something to close thank you everybody for joining tonight <laughs> it was a pleasure to hear all the all the beautiful stories and ideas and whatever is coming up. Thank you. It was such a pleasure. Yes. Um, I loved it. And, beautiful. Uh, thank you, Sander. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. You, and uh, thank you, thank Michael. You, Rosa. Until the next time.
yeah a beautiful day night whatever cool. forever like you say uh, Sander that's it that's it folks that's all folks that's it. The that's what's I love you I love that. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> bye 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 <laughs> uh -huh.